Man, you know I love me some happy accidents, but this ain't that. The thing is, you guys have hit me up and asked me how do I take this patch mock up and make it more realistic because, I mean, it looks flat. And there's nothing wrong with flat, but if it doesn't look high resolution, a lot of people do get turned off. I mean, that's just realistic, right? So, I want to show you guys exactly how to make this look better. I've been trying to do this for about six months, but I was having a kid, and there was things that I had to do first. But now that I'm done with that, and I have a son, and he's awesome, I love him, I need to feed him, I want to show you guys exactly how to do this. So smash the like button, go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications, but we're going to go ahead and get into this in Photoshop with the patch mock-up. Hopefully you guys got it. If you don't, it's in the description box below. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in this embroidery patch mock-up. This is exactly what you guys would get when you download it. It's nothing different, right? This is exactly what it's gonna look like. What you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and double click here where it says drop. Click inside the box, double click, right? It's gonna take you to this graphic here. Now, this is the graphic that I made when I showed you guys how to use Illustrator. Like this is it right here, okay? You can go ahead and delete that out or you can save it and sell it, whatever you wanna do. It really doesn't matter to me. But I wanna use my own graphic, right? And this is the Smiley Outfitter logo. So if I was to hit Command S, go back to the embroidery patch mockup, we get this and it's flat. I, I mean, it's flat. I just, I can't say that it is not, it's bad. So if I double click inside of this, there's some things that we have to do, or just really one thing that we have to do that's gonna happen if we go to anybody that embroiders anything, we need to go ahead and color separate. If we was to go to lids right now, they're gonna color separate this. All right, and this is gonna get into like, I don't know how many different colors, I think maybe five, and I would be charged for five different colors, but that's exactly what's gonna happen, right? So to do this, we need to get the magic wand tool, this thing right here. And you wanna click on the colors, right? So I'm gonna click on this, hit Command J. Go back to my layers panel, click on the graphic, click on another color, hit Command J. Go back to that graphic, click on another color, hit Command J. Go back to that graphic, Hit another color, hit Command J. All right, and then I just wanna turn all of that off. Now do not save this yet. We need to go ahead and separate these colors. So we're gonna go into layers panel, call this one the outline, because it is the outline, but call this one color one, call this one color two, and then call this one color three. And then we're gonna turn off all these eyes except for the outline. Now we'll start saving this out. We gotta save them out individually because they're gonna build out individually. So hit Command S, go back into the patch mockup. As you can see, it looks a little bit more raised. There's a shadow behind it, that is okay. Go to file, export, save for web, hit save. We'll name it whatever we wanna name it. I'll call mine's outline. And then we should just go back through and do it again for everything else. Okay, so we finished all that, right? And I'm just down here to the last teeth or whatnot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into a new layer document, Untitled 5. I just went ahead and dropped in just a flat image. So this is the flat version, right? It's not bad. It's just really flat. It's definitely a patch mockup. But but if you guys were to go to the folder where you exported everything out exactly like I told you guys to do and just take all of this and drop it in, you'll see that it builds out perfectly and you get something a little bit more realistic, right? This ain't that. This is built out. This has dimensions. This is really flat. When you put them side by side, which one are you messing with? So you guys, like, you know I had to take it there, right? So I'm putting on a hat real quick. Just a normal hat because lids do this. Like, you could just go to lids today with a graphic and they'll put your graphic on a hat and you can sell that hat if you want to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that example and then put it on a hat, right? Look, check this out. Here's the flat document. Just comes in flat normal. But if we was to take everything that we just did and drop it in, we get something that's just so realistic. I mean, look at it. It looks good. All we have to do is just scale it in, drop it in. This is probably what we're going to get from lid. Looks awesome. I don't know. You guys tell me. That look like it's going to be purchased. Is this better than this? You let me know in the comment section below. But if you guys still want that patch mock up, it is in the description box. I'll leave it in the comment section for you guys to pick up. Yes, it's just $10. But that's to help me feed my son. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative. Above all else, stay awesome.